Good morning, everyone. It is 8.48 where I'm at. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through a full day of how I hit my macros. And unlike most bodybuilders or people who are preparing for a competition, I don't really meal prep. I kind of just go through my day and have what I want. But I know around like the certain amounts of carbs, fats, proteins, like the certain range I need to have throughout the day. So I kind of just go about it my own way and just hit my macros like that. I don't, I don't typically meal prep that much. If I do meal prep, it'll be meat mostly, but stuff like vegetables, I don't know, rice, potatoes, I may make enough for two days, but I, don't, I definitely don't make like a lot of servings. I just do it as I go throughout the day. So that's just how I do it. Um, I like, I don't know, it kind of gives me a challenge to hit my macros like that. But it's not a challenge that I can't um, I can't do because I hit my macros every like every day. I'm really good at doing it like this. This is just my way of doing it. Some people they like having their um, their meals already made, like meal prep. And I used to do meal prep for a long time. I think that's why I'm good at doing the like just going throughout the day how I do it now because I practiced meal prep for probably two years solid, like just straight meal prep. I like doing it because it, sa it kind of saved time, but it was a lot of energy to do it all in one day and get all the groceries, I don't know. It was it was something I liked, but then I, it kind of got old. But it helped me to develop a way to where I can structure food throughout the day to where I hit my macros. So anyways, I'm just gonna show you how I do that. I'm about to go make breakfast right now. And um, yeah, we'll just get right into it. I really like having eggs for breakfast. I usually have three eggs and two uh, servings of egg watts. And then I usually have a meat with that. Usually kind of like a fatty meat, like um, ham. Or I have some Boston butt in there. <laughs> it's kind of a weird meat, but it's good. And then I may have like some a pork chop or something, you know, just something with kind of high fat but still protein. So I usually have that. And then of course I have to have carbs. So I get my carbs through bread, um, whole wheat. I get whole wheat bread, whole wheat bagel, um, oats, and then fruit. I like having fruit in the morning too. But I'm about to go make my breakfast and I will break it down as soon as I make it. <music> first meal of the day here. It is three eggs with egg watts. And then I have some Boston butt. Weird meat, but it works. And then this is not the prettiest thing I've ever made, but presentation is not always key when you're just trying to hit your macros. But this is oats, PB fit powder, and frozen blueberries. So it works. It tastes good. It just doesn't look that good. <laughs> but for, for breakfast, I like to have a, a pretty high calorie meal because um, from 10.10 to 1.15, I'm pretty booked. 
with um, classes, like just straight on classes. So I don't really have time for a big lunch. I usually fix like a protein shake and maybe like fruit, grapes, strawberries, something like that to have it around lunch in between classes. And then I eat a snack before I go to the gym and then I have dinner and you'll see that later down the road. But I just wanted to go over my macros for this meal. So these are my macros. I use my fitness pal by the way. So those are my macros for this one meal. It is 84 grams of protein, 87 grams of carbs, and 44 grams of fat. Now I like to have my fat in the morning because fat is slow digesting, slow digesting and it fuels you throughout the day. So I have the majority of my fat in the morning time. And this one meal is a little over a thousand calories. It's 1,084. I usually shoot for close to a thousand calories in my first meal of the day, just to have a big meal to fuel me throughout. And because I don't eat much from breakfast to dinner, I usually just have like what I said, like a protein shake, grapes, maybe a snack for the gym. And that's it. So yeah, this is my meal. This is my first meal of the day. It's a big one and I'm about to feast. So. I'll talk to y'all when I eat next. All right, so I'm about to go to my second class of the day and I have my protein shake ready right here. I didn't have time to like make a snack with it. I usually have some fruit with this or maybe some rice cakes, but I'll probably have that before the gym as my snack. But yeah, this is just what I'm gonna be sipping on throughout class, get some protein in, about 40 grams of protein in this, just to like, you know, keep the protein spread throughout the day. But yeah, I'm gonna go to class because I got like, I got like 10 minutes left. So I'll talk to y'all when I get, make it back for class. I'm back from class. I've actually been back for like an hour now, but I had to take care of a few things. But I am now having a banana. <laughs> um, I like having some fruit before I go to the gym because fruit is quick digestion and it gets in your bloodstream quick. And the carbs from it will fuel, fuel your workout. <clears throat> so yeah I'm just having a little banana and I'm outside eating it because it's so nice outside today but I just wanted to discuss where my macros are as of right now so it is 2 30 I usually go to the gym I make it a priority to go to around three or four so I can be back have supper and then a late night snack to finish off my macros for the day so I'll probably go to the gym in about 30 45 minutes somewhere in there but anyways, I use my fitness pal. I think I already mentioned that, but as of right now, my macros are, well, you actually can't see it. I'm just gonna tell you. They are 122 uh, protein, 124 carbs, and 51 grams of fat. And that's kind of where I wanna be sitting for today. Um, you'll figure out like my total macros at the end of this video. But basically, I've gotten about about half of my protein in, which is where I like to be, because I'll have more protein after my workout, and then a little protein, a little protein to end the day. And then I have roughly 180 carbs to hit, which I would like it to be a little higher. I like it to be about 150 right now, because I have to hit like 311 carbs. I like to be about 150, but like I said, I couldn't have that snack earlier, so I didn't get like 20 or 30 more carbs that I would normally have, but that's totally fine, I'll have them later. And I'm at 51 grams of fat, which is fine too, because I'll have chicken later, it's low fat, I'll have rice, uh, I have cereal, all that's low fat. And then if I still need some fat, I'll just like take a scoop of peanut butter, and I'll probably show you that later. But yeah, that's just where I'm at. I have. I have to I have to hit 2,800 calories a day, and I've hit 1,400 today so far. So it's lunchtime. I've hit half of my calories, exactly where I want to be. And this is why I said in my video that I'm pretty good at hitting my macros because I just know like when I need to have this food. But yeah, that's that's just the update around lunch. I'm gonna finish off this banana and then go to the gym. I'm back from the gym finally and rocking the MBG stringer. Uh, don't look at my skin, I'm wide as snow right now. <laughs> but 
here's my post-workout meal. Having the regular old chicken and rice. I had to actually, you can tell, I had to take some of this chicken off because this chicken breast was 14.8 ounces. And in terms of chicken breast, that is a big, big chicken breast. So I've taken a little bit off this plate and now it's 10 ounces. So I'm having 10 ounce chicken breast with a whole um, package of Uncle Ben's Ready Ross just because it's quick, it's easy, it tastes good, and it's easy to track. So I have that. Very simple meal, but it helps me to get my calories in, protein, carbs. So yeah, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna go devour this meal and I will let y'all know what I eat. I think, I tracked it on my fitness pal, but I'll let y'all know when I go to eat my other meal where I'm at. I think I have about, I have about 700 calories left after this. I'm back with my last meal of the night and it is mostly carb filled just because I got it hit my carbs. So we got some protein cereal and I just mixed some cinnamon in with it. And then I just have a plain whole wheat bagel that I'm going to eat alone because for, it's for macro purposes and I'm not very picky when it comes to macros. So yeah, I'm just going to eat this plain. And then um, I have it calculated. I have 123 more calories, I think, after this meal. And most, like, pretty much all of those are carbs. So what I'm going to do is just eat um, probably some vanilla wafers. And I know they have sugar, like added sugar, but I haven't had much added sugar today. So I'll be perfectly fine. And that'll help me... Um, reach my carbs for the day. And I've already checked it. Once I eat those, uh, not wheat thins, uh, vanilla wafers, then I will be two grams above my protein. I think spot on with my carbs. And then I think three grams, maybe four grams above my fat. So for the most part today, I've been like, just spot on. I'm only just a less than a handful of grams away from my macros. And that's just me going about my day. I'm not even like um, planning out my meals. I'm just like, hmm, this would go good with that. Hmm, I need some carbs. Let me throw in this bagel. Just stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I've done today. That's how I hit my macros daily. I just go about it and it works out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just good at doing that. But yeah, I've, my calories for the day were, I think to be like exact, were 2,828 and I'm about to hit them for 2,820. So there's that. And then my protein for the day is 234 and I'm hitting it for 236. So very close. My carbs, carbs for the day are 311. Hit them for 311, spot on. And my fat for the day is 72, and I think I'm at 76 after the vanilla wafers. So just a touch bit, a touch bit high on the fat, but I'm still pleased with it. So, but anyways, this is gonna bring an end to this vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching me hit my macros and see how I go about my day hitting numbers. Uh, maybe it was a little enjoyable, but I thought I'd give you some insight on how I go about hitting these numbers the way I do. I thought it would be kind of cool to see. But thank you for watching and if you want to see more videos like this just let me know in the comments below or let me know on Instagram anything like that because I enjoy making them. And I enjoy talking about nutrition just because it's like one of my favorite things ever. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.